another question is what kind of rotation should I be doing? Like, uh, okay, now we play Zopo at home, Svetkavica away. Svetkavica away, despite the fact that Svetkavica are non-league club, uh, we should be winning this one because it's a Bulgarian Cup and I really don't want uh, surprises there. We are gonna have to rotate quite heavily against Cern More and potentially lose more points in the league, but we have Antwerp afterwards. So I should be doing more rotation now. Then, then make sure to win the up game. Rotation against Chernomure. Annoying. Annoying. Uh, home game against Zopu. A lot of rotation yet again. What a long throw. Perkovic for Zivic. Pantovic on the right. Is it the pen? Is it the bird? Is it the plane? Or is it the pen? It is a pen. Brian Oyeda. Peeling in for the missing defenders. Trying to steal the show there. Let's lower the tempo so that we can spare some energy. Yeah, Zivic should be subbed off. I need him. Uh, who else? I had to sub off someone else as well. Vanya Vlahovic maybe? No injuries, no injuries, no injuries, no injuries. Please, no injuries, please, no injuries. Please, no injuries, 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 please, no injuries. Please don't concede, please don't concede, please don't concede. <laughs> Pantovic for the new, the new long ball forward. Nice stuff. Come on, Morao. <clears throat> oh my god. Why were three of my players attacking the goalkeeper? They're so aggressive. They give me the chance there, but... Perkovic is gonna score this one. Ah, saved. <laughs> saved! XG and we scored one goal from penalty. Who cares? The annoying thing is that I, I think I sent on loan the best young defender. I could have utilized him at least domestically. Yeah. Yeah, this guy. He could have actually done stuff for us. I actually trust 
the 15 year old Gurgiev. He will score this time. That's it. Let's hope that the fact that they are non-league club uh, will actually count. And we will easily get a win against them. Although they are playing 5 at the back, which is not giving me... A fair amount of confidence. Theoretically, even our third team should be able to beat them like 5-0. There it is! The 15-year-old with his first goal for Levski Sofia! <laughs> Youth Academy product. Your gift scores his first goal for Levski. Tight schedule with injuries. Resulting in him playing his third game as a starter. And he scores the second one for the cup. Youth is right in history. Can he actually score a hat-trick? At 15. Yes, he can! Ah. And he will, but not this time. I trust the players behind him to create enough chances for him to score more. Midkov with long ball for Gyrgyev. Gyrgyev with the volley and it's a third one! 20 minutes in hat-trick for 50-year-old Gyrgyev. To be fair, my academy graduates, some of them cost around a million, which is probably more than the whole team of the opponent, so... I don't know. He's probably as, as good or probably better than their striker. So the fact that he's 15 does not really count. Another long ball for Gurgiev. He chases it. Puts one in. Fourth goal for Gurgiev. 30 minutes. Maybe we should decrease the tempo. Like, we don't really need to waste energy anymore. Andreev with long bow. Mana chases it. Ooh. Actually? 11 shots, 5 on target, 4 goals. It's quite good. Mitkov. The defensive midfielder shadow striker Mitkov, who is currently learning the tr the learning the right wing back position. Okay. Ah, uh, Mawisa. I cannot sub off Gyurgyev. The Kuiper. For Harwood. Nah. The Kuiper for Montes and Blanco for Harwood. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Vanya Vlahovic. He also needs much sharpness. I have to play him as well. Just be careful to not get injured, guys. Just be careful to not get injured. He chases it. Ooh, Gurgiev hits the bar.
highlights no highlights any highlights or with the slowing up uh, slowing the tempo there is not much to actually happen i'm really grateful so far that they are playing pretty clean a single yellow card which means that we are more aggressive than them because we're assholes this is gonna be his fifth he rounds the keeper <laughs> Ilya Kyrgyz scores five in the Bulgarian Cup first round at the age of 15 He shows the world he is better than non-league football level. He was tripped, he was tripped. Vlahovic. What a volley by Vlahovic. Oh my god. Last season, we played only top 10 teams in Bulgaria in the Cup. Look at it. How much easier can it be? From the corner, Blanco, Mawisa. Hit the crossbar. Was not able to score one. Mr. Trendrafiov. We are tackling hard. Fabulous stuff. Fabulous stuff. Most important thing is that we progress in the Bulgarian Cup. Uh, the other most important thing is that we had no injuries and the third most important thing is that like 10 players that were coming back from injury got to play a bit of competitive football and much sharpness should be improving for them. Uh, so... Carboni. Mr. Carboni. Is he called Carboni? Looking at set Mikuf. Okay. Alfonso Sosa. Who's not available for... Is he? Yeah, he's actually available for the Champions League. Whatever. Uh, I think that this is more than enough rotation. Question is, are we going to drop more points in the league because of our... International football duty. It's not duty, it's quest. We have a quest in the international football. Fifteen minutes of nothing. Twenty minutes in. First highlight. Alfonso Sosa chasing the ball. Blanco. They are defending kinda deep. Uh Zivic should pick this one. Hansen. Antovic. What is he thinking there? What was that? Alfonso Souls chasing it on the wing. Back to Blanco. Who's gonna cross it from deep? And Ludovic Lamy scores the header. Cap. So I'm so happy he's back from injury. No, come on. There's nothing to check. Why? Offside. Who was offside? Alfonso Sosa. 
This is gonna be a carbon copy of what happened a couple of minutes ago. No, it's not, but Burlamak is course. Come on. What, what is the ref doing there? Ref? Ref? What are you doing there? What are you checking this time? Thank you. The ref was trolling. He was like, ah, oh, let's check this. Not that he has the right to check anything, but the VAR referee was trolling. Zivic. Kinda lucky. Who cares? They are not doing anything in attack so far. Let's hope... Uh, I won't have to eat my words after this highlight. Was the end of that sentence that I started. And with their second shot. They scored. Uh, the thing is that I have to make changes yet again. Moisa needs to play a bit more because he's constantly... Not constantly, but he's not back to full much sharpness after his injury. Andy Harwood also needs to improve match fitness. And if I remember collect correctly, Ludovic Lamy shouldn't have been playing the whole game. Neither Vani Vlahovic. Okay, team. Let's just win this one. And let's start doing it by not conceding with the first highlights of the second half, could we? Oh, I should have subbed Jivic. Too many players needing rotation. Antovic for the Kuiper! And it's three! Can we just do this? Pantovic with a chance. Running down the right. Mm, trying something that he will not be able to explain once we ask him on training pitch tomorrow. What is going on? What a fantastic play by them. Oh my god. <clears throat> that was really good. Whatever, let's praise the team. Let's maybe... Slow down things as much as we can. <clears throat> the only thing we need is this game to finish without any more highlights. No injuries, nothing. <laughs> the Kai put a Jivic with a long ball forward, Harwood. For some reason, is on the left wing. Deep into position half. Burlamaki with a really, really bad shot. Can I give Jivic a break? Harwood on the left. Back to Pomoisa. The Kuiper. Lovely piece of skill. 
the referee is still gonna be reviewing something. Come on, man. Like, what? Why? What? Second disallowed. Ooh. Mitkov trying weird things there. Come on, team. Come on. Come on! Let's just finish this. Cool stuff, cool stuff. Nice work, everyone. That was good. We needed three points. We got the three points. Now the others have to chase us. What happens in game with Rodrigo, by the way? Is he a good potential player? He's still at Real Madrid. He's still there. Yeah, he's a 200 million player. But is he playing on the right for them? He's actually more expensive than Vinicius. Ooh, both players are actually absolutely fantastic. This is probably our best 11, so let's just get to the game. Second Champions League match day for us. Away against Antwerp. We have a score to settle with them. Come on, team. They are playing five at the back. Like all the rats do. Mura with an early yellow card. We are not having quite a lot of the ball, which is annoying. This is going to be long kick by them. In the air, we win it. Kof wins the second ball. Zivic is being pressed and he loses it. What was that? What was that? An injury. Come on, the Kuiper. Okay, the new wins the ball, but cough on his left, Alberto Mural. Why are you shooting this one, man? Why are you even trying? You were right footed, it was on your left. At least move it to the right before you do this. But cough tackling. Are they gonna try a long ball? Yes, but to the wing. Come on, Vergiev, come on! Really nice press there, come on, come on! A nice go by Vergiev! Throw the ball, halfway line! Ran the hole through the whole pitch! Keep the pressure, guys, keep the pressure! Let's finish it here. Zivic. The new on the right. They're open. Petkov. Petkov on his right. And it's a second one. Another highlight. Right after that. Deep in our half. We're still pressing them. Can they actually lose the ball here? They're passing backwards. The long ball. Uh, okay. Long ball for Petkov. He wins the header. Can he chase it down? We are pressing them deep in their penalty box. The Kuiper should pick this one easily. Yeah, Petkovic. 
Pantovic. Mural. Ilya for the through ball for Bergev. Could have been third right before halftime. Could have been and should have been third right before halftime. We had three highlights after the 40th minute. Very well done, team. Keep on doing the thing that you're doing so far. Not a highlight, 46 minutes. I am kind of scared of their long balls because one of our center halves is just 176. And he's not great in the air. And currently in our midfield, we don't have the tallest players as well, but they are both playing prolific midfielders. Pantovic. There should be no way back for them in this game. I think it should be beyond reach for them. Ilyev pressing. Well done, Ilyev. For Vergiev. Is it gonna be a fourth one? He's the bar. Oh my god. They're in shambles. Ilyev. Mural. For Pantovic. On the wing for the Kuiper. Pantovic. Mural. Again Kuiper. Forming triangles. They are defending so deep right now. Petkov! <laughs> it's the bar from the header. It lands in his feet. And it's 4 0. With 4 XG. We had a score to settle with them. We've done it brilliantly. Alberto Moral for Vergiev. Petkov for a hat trick. Let's above the guy with the yellow card. Let's not give them a way back into this game. Pantovic for Vergiev. Five. 55 minutes of football! Come on! The referee is saving their asses from humiliation. crowd is so silent Berzinski closed down by our defender by our forwards we're pressing them really high and it's working but Kof this is gonna be the fifth Alfonso Sosa What is Alfonso Sosa doing? Is there gonna be a fifth? We're in extra time already. Pa uh, Perkovic pressing. Alfonso Sosa on his right. And that's the fifth one. The lonely Alfonso Sosa from Inter. Gets his name on the score sheet as well. Last season, we did not manage to qualify from the league stage of the Champions League because Antwerp managed to get a point from us at home. And now away 
We absolutely smashed them. Look at this. After two games played in the Champions League. League phase. Levski are leading the table. Followed by Man City, Liverpool, PSG and Chelsea. Stream. So we now have to play Heber at home. September away. And PSG at home. Good news is that there is quite of a break between these two games. So the only rotation that we're going to have to do is for the September Sofia game. A bit more rotation. Two XG, two goals. 17 minutes in the game, we were already leading by two. Nice and easy. Is it over? Not yet. 20 minutes left. Mena chasing it. Let me... Ah! Oh, hits the post. He's quite tall and I expect him to score headers, but unfortunately his heading ability is not... Wow. He's not exceptional. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Yes, we are! Ooh. Okay. Okay. Let's keep set for European Clash. 16% of people ask, believe. They are believers. They're true believers. That there is any chance for us to actually win against PSG. Last game for today's stream. This is the game that is... What we've been fighting for actually so far. These kinds of games. Against European royalty. Although... Is PSG European royalty? Not yet, maybe. But are definitely one of the mastodons of, of uh, European football. Financially and uh, player-wise as well, I would say. That's it. Let's keep versus PSG. We are currently top of the Champions League league with uh, two wins from two games. And there is actually a really tough challenge in front of us. It's called um, Neymar plus Zaniolo plus a guy called Kylian Mbappe. We did what we could. We actually have all of our best players available for this game. Now question is... Are we gonna have enough luck to actually get something from this game? Let's go. Levski Sofia versus PSG. Donnarumma, Hakimi, Marquinhos, Mark Wehi, Nuno Mendes on the left. Fabian and Yuri Tillemans through the middle. Jack Grealish, Julian Alvarez and Zaniolo. Does this mean that Mbappe is injured? Is Mbappe injured? Wait. Is Kylian injured? Okay. 
Julian Alvarez. Nicolas Zaniolo. Otavio. Look at our kits. No branding. Classical kits. Okay, team. Let's go. After 15 minutes of football, there is absolutely nothing happening out there. First highlight. Ilyev with his back to go. Roberto Moral. Harwood on the wing. Nice ball for Moral. Back to Harwood. Crosses it. Pantovic! Ooh, Hasanovic with a foul against Zaniolo there. Hopefully without a card. Yes, it is without a card. Come on, guys. Pretty even game so far. 30 minutes in. Julian Alvarez. Long cross forward for Fabian. Really uneventful. 40 minutes. We are keeping the ball well enough. Absolutely insanely uneventful first half. But you know what? After two games, we were top of the table with six points. So uh, a draw at home against PSG with obviously injured Kylian Mbappe because he's not in the match day squad. Is he? Is he actually injured? Is he actually injured? Jack Grealish. PSG, PSG players, senior school. Where is the guy? Kylian Mbappe is injured. Okay. I <laughs> did international duty. Ah! Sorry, guys. Oh my god, they have Martin Minchev. What? PSG have a Bulgarian on loan from Aston Villa. Uh, as a replacement for Kylian Mbappe, maybe? Okay. Uh, but another thing that I noticed is, first of all, that they are actually playing uh, with a diamond, which gives me the vibes that I should be trying to attack through the wings. Um, and I will actually kind of risk it. Uh, let's let's try focusing down the right wing. Because Marin Petkov is our better winger or inverted forward slash something something. Ah. Uh... Yeah. Okay. Let's try and win this. They're having quite a lot more of the ball at the beginning of the second half. Momentum is with them. Fortunately, no highlight for them. Ilif is having a quiet game, so does Pantovic. 70 minutes in, absolutely nothing happening. What's going on in this game? Okay, let's put Movisa on the left because he's a good header of the ball. And on corners, we're going to be aiming directly at him. Milos Pantovic and uh, Nikola Ilyev have been quiet games. You know what? You know what? I'm gonna play Ludovic Lamy. He has 16 finishing, he's not that well rounded, but he's someone that can actually produce an upset up top. And um, on the left, we're gonna play Alfonso Sosa. Vergif cannot play as a shadow striker. Oh, that's weird. Okay, I'm going to do another change. Let's do it like this. But Kof will, be, will play as false nine. And Ludwig Lemis is going to be Shadow Striker. That's it. Come on, guys. Let's score one. Come on. Come on. A corner. But Kof. Moussa with the counter. And it's in.
Moisa just got in. Ah, oh, subbed in. Because we know he's good at heading. And we're aiming crosses directly at him. 75th minute we take the lead against PSG. Oh my goodness. Can we actually win this one? Can we actually win this one? Injured Mbappe. At all. 10 minutes to go. 10 minutes to go. Let's go. Full time. We just defeated PSG at home. We are 3 for 3 in the Champions League. Our fourth season in this save. We managed to defeat PSG at home. A pretty even game. They had more shots on target. We scored a corner. And that's all we needed. Look at this. After three games played in the Champions League, there is only one team with three wins. There are still a couple of teams to play. And they can also have the full nine points. But I think that at this point of the competition with nine points, uh, we'll have to, I don't know, do something really stupid in order to not to qualify for the next round. We got the result against PSG. UEFA Champions League. Young Levski shine against PSG. The reserve, Christian Moisa. Scored from the corner. Absolutely fantastic piece of football.